Do you have a plan for banishing mom guilt and not having a super stressful summer that can sometimes ensue when you are running a business and raising your family? Well, today we're going to dive into one of the strategies that has been most impactful in my life and has led me to more joyful summers with my kids, my family, while running my business. My name is Yang Pratt. I'm the chief dreamer at Our Young Creators and the creator of the In a Weekend series of classes and podcasts, where we help you to simplify, to automate, and to leverage the often hidden assets inside your business, like your kiddos, quickly and easily. When it comes to summer, so many moms and business owners that I know tell me that it induces a lot of stress and anxiety. And I am the first to admit that in years past, I was so full of stress during the summer, trying to balance out time with my kids and my family and time to work on my business and build it the way that I wanted to build it. Can you relate to that? If this scenario sounds like something you have been through personally, let me know down below. I used to be the mom that when I was working in the summertime, I was feeling guilty because my kids were off doing something else and I really, really wanted to be with them. I'm that mom who loves my kids home during the summer. I miss them during the school year and there just isn't enough time during the school year to do all the things that I want to do with them. So I try to make up for it in the summer. If I was working in my business, I'd feel guilty for not spending time with my kids. And when I was spending time with my kids, often I was distracted. I was not intentional. I was thinking about what I needed to do next in my business. And it was an endless cycle of stress, anxiety, and mom guilt. Over the past several years, I've had the opportunity to interview moms, dads, and business owners from all walks of life about different strategies that they employ to be the most effective and the most successful they can, especially in the summertime. So today's strategy, I started using a couple of years ago and I was super resistant. By nature, I am a creative and love to always create things. I love the feeling of dreaming up something and bringing it into reality, making something out of nothing. I enjoy nothing more than creating things like classes or videos like this, or even podcast episodes where I can impart some of the wisdom and lessons learned through the school of hard knocks and doing things the very, very hard way and sharing them with you. So this is something I truly resisted for so long. And here is the strategy. The strategy is called time blocking. Now you may have heard this strategy before. Basically what time blocking is, is that you would look at your calendar and decide on blocks of time, maybe when your kids are at school, that you get certain things done. I know in our business, things that need to happen every week are live videos, podcasts, social media graphics, social media posts. There's all sorts of things that we're always creating and we need to actually put that on our calendar and schedule it because I don't know if you're like this, but sometimes I'll think of an idea and think I really want to do something. However, I don't actually make a plan or create some sort of strategy or put a system in place to actually do the thing. And summers used to be the worst culprits of that for me because I would envision things in an ideal world, but then I really wouldn't follow through with them, which again led back to that vicious cycle of frustration, anxiety, stress, and mom guilt. And I really want to help other moms and parents out there, especially those running businesses, how to really push those feelings down 
in favor of living more joyfully and more easily because we put some strategies into place to help us craft our most successful summers ever. I know that every week on my calendar, I need to schedule time in to do podcast recordings or interview my guests. So I typically block out two or three hours, usually on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, where that's all I do during that time. I don't check my emails, I don't answer the phone or answer my text messages, even though my kiddos sometimes do text me during those times. I just need to put a better plan in place to help them know that during certain times of the day, I'm not going to be available to them. And as long as I set up parameters and boundaries and let everyone know, that should definitely work out for the most part. So during that time, it's all about the podcast, whether that means maybe I'm actually recording podcasts or making clips, repurposing to multiply our message, all that happens in that time block. And I do it just once a week because I don't wanna be doing a little bit of something every day. I'd rather do it all at once in one singular time block. And that has been something that's helped me tremendously over the past couple of years where I just know that I need to dedicate certain time frames to getting stuff done because if I don't make a plan and if I don't put it on my calendar, it is likely not going to happen. If this sounds familiar, let me know below. And if there's someone out there who you think needs to hear this, I ask that you please let them know about this video and about these weekly live videos here on Facebook as well as on our podcast where you can get some practical tips to help you to really create amazingness in as little as a weekend. So my friends, that is my tip or my strategy for today. Take some time. It doesn't have to be all day, but take some time this week and make a plan. If you know you have to write emails to your list, when are you going to do that? Put it on the calendar and block out that time. Keep that appointment with yourself just like you would keep any appointment at a doctor's office or with a personal trainer. Really hold yourself accountable to showing up at that time to do the thing that you set out. Now, I'd love to hear about your successes with using time blocking. Let me know down below how this strategy is helping you to craft your most successful summer yet. And if you want more strategies like this and on topics like how to create a rhythm calendar, how to really work on your sales during the summer, how to take care of yourself in a manner that's going to serve you and your family. If you want to learn about kids and money, if you want to learn about all of these different things, we actually have bundled together 21 of our most popular, our most fast action taking lessons with entrepreneurs from across the globe and from all walks of life. There are strategies for you as a business owner to employ. There are strategies that you can learn and then pass along to your kiddos, which will help them be more successful in places like school. And there are also strategies for your kids and how you can help your kids do certain things like multiplying their own message by sharing their unique gifts and talents using the one thing that most people think we should take away. Can you guess what that is? If you answered phones or devices, you, my friend, would be absolutely right. Most parents come to me and they request ideas to get their kids off their devices. Well, you know what? Even if you take those devices away, kids have a tendency to be resourceful and find ways to access those devices at places like school. So even if they lose the ability to use them at home, they're still accessing them. So rather than just locking those devices away in a cabinet and banishing them from our kids' lives, 
let's find a way to come together on the same page to show them how to turn those devices into devices to create more goodness in the world by sharing their messages, by reporting on topics that are important to them. It's time that they realize they have the power to create a future that they choose. In this very digital age we live in now, there's so many opportunities. And if we are models and mentors to our kids about the possibilities that can exist for them so that they can create a life that really they want to live, that's the best gift we can give. So if you're ready to craft your most successful summer yet, I invite you to head over and grab a copy of our Successful Summer Strategies Bundle. Again, it's 21 of our most popular, most action-packed lessons from moms and dads and business owners from across the world and in all walks of life. There are strategies for you as a business owner, there are strategies for you as a parent, and there are strategies for you to help your kids really live into the lives that they are desiring. Are you with me? Just head over to the website, grab your copy. I will go ahead and share below with you where you can find that. In the meantime, let me know if this idea or this strategy of time blocking is successful for you and give me your feedback. I'd love to hear it and I'd love to support you on your journey. Until next time, my friends, I wish you an amazing day. Cheers.